Hi, this is Scott Morse from Woody Cabinets Tips and Tricks. The other day I had a question from one of my subscribers. What they were wanting to know is how I went about drawing fillers in e-cabinets and putting them in custom layout. So let me show you how I do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a filler for this cabinet right here. We're going to put it on this side of this cabinet. Okay, so let's go into a cabinet editor and I'm going to bring up a standard base framed cabinet from eCabinet's standard library. Now there are some things that you need to be aware of. What you want to do is you want to have all your settings this on on the cabinet that you're drawing this filler up on the same as the cabinets that are in the room there. In this case I'm using all the settings that eCabinet's already has on this cabinet right here. The toe kick what's important is the toe kick height, the deck inset and your, uh, your bottom rail width really isn't that critical, but and we'll get into that in just a second. But just make sure that you got your bottom inset for your deck set, just like the rest of the cabinets that you have in your custom layout, as well as the toe kick height. But let's go ahead and get started with this. What I want to do is I want to go into the face frame editor here. If we hover over this style right here, we see that it's 30 and 3 quarters of an inch long okay and that's what we want our filler to wind up being okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the face frame parts except for this left style here so I'm going to hold down my control key I want to select all the face frame parts that I do not want on my cabinet here everything except for the left style there now if you watch right here when I hit delete And you hover over this this is now 28 and 3 quarters so we need to extend this down two inches which is the same as our bottom rail width another thing we need to do is go ahead and get rid of this fixed shelf in here or adjustable shelf or whatever it is so let's go into the shelf and partition editor and delete that so the only thing we got now is a cabinet okay with a left style it's got a top a left end a right end, a deck, and a back. Now we want to get rid of the deck and the toe kick and all that, but I'm not just simply going to remove them because that will affect the length of this style here. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into go back to main here and I'm going to go into construction settings and right here under face frames the first thing I want to do is go to my left style right here my left style and the bottom inset now I'm going to use the formula editor for this okay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit my minus button so it's going to be minus it needs to be a negative inset so it makes it longer minus our bottom rail width here okay I'm going to click OK you can see right here it's got minus two inches I'm going to click OK and you can see it extend down now if I hover over this, it is 30 and 3 quarters. Now another thing I need to do is change the width of that, okay? They were wanting their fillers to be an inch and a half. So I'm going to go back into construction settings and under face frames here. I'm going to go to page 2 and I'm going to change the width of that left style right here from 2 inches to 1.5. Okay, that whatever width you want your filler to be, that's what you need to set that style width to. I'm going to click OK. So now it's an inch and a half. And now what I need to do is get rid of all the parts that I can without affecting the length of this style right here. So I'm going to go back into construction settings. And under top here, I'm going to select none. Okay, and then under the back, I'm going to uncheck has back and left in I want to uncheck has left in and right in I want to uncheck has right in now if you're wanting to make a filler like for example a dishwasher panel or something like that then you can leave either the left in or the right in on there whichever one you want it's not going to matter I'm going to click OK and you can see we got everything gone except for the deck and the toe kick now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my cabinet width and I'm going to change that to 
and that's going to allow me to put it right up next to my cabinet that I have in custom layout at a, and it's going to be an inch and a half wide by 34 and a half high by 24 deep which is going to work just fine for us so I'm going to hit enter you can see that change now let's spin this around and have a look you can see we've got a deck here that extends all the way to the back there and we got a toe kick now if you don't want this toe kick front on here or this deck you can select either either one or both of these and, and right click and go into phantom parts here and you can set those to be phantom parts just select yes for the ones that you want to be phantom parts okay now I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these at no for now because I want to show you something else real quick but you can just select set those to phantom parts and they won't show up on your cut list and they won't show up at the machine if you're routing these on your on your CNC router but let's say for example you want to leave this uh, deck on here you want it to go from the back of your face frame here to the back of this toe kick what we could do is we can double click on our cabinet we need to get a measurement from here to the back of our toe kick and that's going to give us our in, our back inset that we need so I'm going to click on my measurement tool here and I'm going to select my back of my deck here and the back side of my toe kick and if you see there in the Z distance right now it says negative 17 and a half let me go ahead and get the right dimension here okay now it's in the Z distance it's 17 and a half inches if I hold down my control key I can come over here and I can select that 17 and a half and go control C to copy and now I can go into construction settings and in my deck here on the back inset for my deck I can highlight zero there and go control V to paste and put it right in there and click OK and now that is in there just like that so you got your toe kick board here and that should line up with the rest of your toe kicks on your cat on the cabinet that it's going beside and you got something to fasten it to here with your deck there so if you don't want these included in your cut list just make them phantom parts if you do leave them just like they are if you want them to show up on your cut list and you're cutting these out on the table saw or whatever you can instead of making them phantom parts you could change the material to something like no CNC or or whatever it it will show up at the machine but the operator can filter out that particular material and it won't cut these if these are going to be too small for you either way so whatever your preferences are what you would want to do now is save this in your library okay I've already got mine saved so I'm just going to go back into custom layout and bring up my filler that I've got already saved this one right here standard base filler 1 1p5 and I can put it wherever I want I can snap it to this side of the cabinet or I can snap it to this side of the cabinet if I hit my escape key and rotate this around we'll see if they're lining up properly so all that looks good guys we can go into render here and see it a little bit better so I hope this helped you out if it did how about give me a thumbs up and hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest tips and tricks as always thank you for watching and have a good day